40 HE posters which will be on board, billboards across Spain and Portugal. These newspaper ads will go out in remote villages near Praia de Luz. They're designed to rejuvenate the campaign. We want to drift this out, though, that's what we want to do. We want to drift this out over the next few months. Madeline's godfather accepts that Kate and Jerry's perfect status is harming their campaign. Well, it's a bit like having a football team without a captain or a ship without a rudder. You lack that guidance, and Kate and Jerry have been very hands-on, massively committed. We're talking about 16, 18 hour days searching for their daughter. And when that's taken out of the mix, um, you're still doing stuff yourself, but you don't have that guidance and things start to slow down and slow down and slow down. <laughs> Across town, we joined the meeting of the Liverpool branch of the Fine Madeline campaign. Tonight is about concentrating on the items on the agenda. Kate's mother suggests another church service and the place of the group on their daughter's welfare. Yeah. She's more able to, to pick up the threads, I suppose, of normal life, although she did say she doesn't think life will ever be normal again. Mm -hmm. Certainly not with that matter. Mm -hmm. Sometimes during the course of a day she will have periods where she's absolutely devastated, hysterical, um, bereft for a short period of time and this probably happens to her once or twice a day. Um, she told me that she was unable to sleep a couple of nights ago and I said to her, did the twins <coughs> wake you up? Did they? Sometimes they get up and they go into her bed and she said no, she said Madeline came. After Madeline's disappearance, it seems the world joined the search. The task of the campaign now is to keep people looking. Rohit Capture, ITV News, Liverpool.